back in it, friends. Today we're off to Port Vale. It's not going to be an easy game, but it's not going to be hard. It's going to be one of them games where it's, you just can't predict, I think. They're winning, they're losing, and they're drawing. But I'm going to say a tight 2-1 today. What about you, Mush? Yeah, I sort of go along with what you're saying. It's going to be hard. Um, I'm thinking a draw, but I'm going to say 3-2. I reckon Bishop and Nickett at the end. Uh, there's been a lot of goals in their games, like you say, and also they've um, they've signed a few players, and they've signed a, a player from Brighton, player from Man United, centre half from Liverpool, all youngsters. Yeah, it's gonna be a tough game today, but we we need to win, don't we? We've got to win. We can't we can't have any more slips. Getting tight at the top. So who's in the Wall of Fame today, then, Mush? Wall of Fame today. Uh, there's a few up, but we've had them before. So, again, Port Vale, another hard one. So, we're going to have to go back to the iPad. So, today, he had uh, four games on loan at Port Vale back in 2001. Um, and he was at Pompey from 2009 to 11, playing 32 games. Bit injury prone. Um, shame, because he's a pretty good striker. But today, it's Danny Webber. I'm here with Miles and Andy. What's the score going to be today? 2-1, I'm saying. one all for me, I think. I'm here with Alfie, we've met before haven't we, um, you've always got an overload of goals in your games, is there going to be a lot more today? Uh, if we don't concede then we don't really have as many goals but I'm actually fairly confident, you're not on the best run of form but you beat Fleetwood so who knows, who knows. I'm here with Christina and Mark, what's the score going to be today? 2-0 no, I reckon, yeah. 3-0. Yeah. 3-0 no. no win? Yeah. yeah. I'm here with Anne and Steph, what's the score going to be today? 2-1 Vale. Oh, we've got to be a winner, haven't we, for Vale? 1-0. Um, does Miles Part Harris, our new signing, come straight into the squad or do you keep a back three? No, you've got to bring him in. You've got to put him up in front with uh, Bishop. You've got to give him a chance because Bishop's getting no um, out part there at all. Yeah, I think he needs to be put up front with Bishop. Would you stick with a back three today or go to a back four? I think they've got to stick with a back three, haven't they? Obviously, you've had a, a few players come in from some big teams. Are you hoping to see them do brilliant? Well, I'm sure everyone is, to be fair. Well, 100%. I mean, we've packed the midfield with the signings we've had. Jensen Weir, uh, Dan Gore, obviously made a few appearances for United in the Premier League. Reese Williams, nice six foot five centre half. That's what we needed. We needed that height in the back line. So every signing that we've made so far this season has been a good signing. So we're massive credit to you know Flipcroft, Carol Shanahan. And I see you've got some charity stuff here. What's it for? Yeah. So it's the brain tumour research supporting their charity because sadly my daughter's got a brain tumour. So we're here today as a family. Uh, we're all around the ground supporting the brain tumour support research. Would you bring in Miles Par Harris for anyone today? Well, I think it'll probably depend on whether Morel's injured. If he is, then you know you've got to change the midfield, so it's likely that he will come in. Um, be nice to see him play, see what he's made of, and go from there. Do you still keep the same back three or go to a back four? I'd say go to a back four. Yeah. Back four. Back four, yeah. yeah. So you've signed some players from big teams. How how good do you think they're going to settle in today? Well, I hope they're going to do all right because they're coming from well, one's from Manu, Manu, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. so Brighton, yeah, Liverpool, yeah. yeah. So hopefully they'll yeah. score a few goals. Hopefully, <laughs> everyone hopes to score goals. <laughs> Today's player profile is a little bit different, as we saw him after the game. Rock superstar Robbie Williams. Robbie, can I just get one question for my channel? Yeah, go on. All right, um, Robbie Williams, you're a mega. Singer worldwide, do you want to pick a card for our YouTube channel? Yeah, go on then. Just one. I'm going to read you the questions. They're football based, but I'm going to turn them into singing based. Okay, All right. Growing up, who inspired you to be a singer? Who inspired me to be a singer? I think my dad. My dad's a comedian and an entertainer. And uh, I think if my dad had been a policeman, I would have been a policeman. <laughs> and um, uh, have you ever played a practical joke in a concert? Have I ever played a practical joke in a concert? Not that I could mention. How old are you? <laughs> yeah, no. And um, who's your favourite singer or band or artist out there? Ooh, who's my? Nah. <laughs> who's my favourite singer? I don't. Uh, yeah, Johnny Wilkes. I don't really have a favourite singer. Maybe Freddie Mercury. Yeah. And 
And um, yeah. one more. What's your favourite holiday destination? Favourite holiday destination has got to be Burslem, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Bishop, another win on the road. Brilliant. Thanks for the penalty. 
Uh, yeah, thank you. Thanks to Abu for get winning it for me. Um, yeah, good three points. And obviously, atmosphere was brilliant today. I mean, you just sent them wild right at the end, everywhere and everyone. I think, I think the fans deserved it. I mean, to come that many numbers again, come all this way, you got Carlisle away. I've heard that sold out as well. It's, it's seriously, it's unbelievable. It's so we're so appreciative, and yeah, it's nice to just give them a little bit back. And obviously, in the game, we were dominant all over the pitch for most of that game, controlling the possession. Um, what's your thoughts just on the game in general? I think we played very well. I think um, we managed them very well. Didn't give them a sniff up front. We've just got to be better in the final um, final third. It's, it's so obvious. So um, we could have put that game to bed, but unfortunately we didn't. But you know, it happens sometimes. But we still got the three points. Yeah. Only three points is three points. And can we get a pumpkin? Pumpkin. Cheers, mate. Cheers, Colby. Tom Lowry, uh, absolutely brilliant team performance and absolutely dominant in midfield today. What's your thoughts? Uh, yeah, absolutely brilliant win. Um, I thought the lads were brilliant all game. And thankfully, Colby's put one away at the end, and yeah, it's a great day out for everyone. And yeah, it's a brilliant day out for everyone. Can't wait to, for Tuesday. Hopefully, another 2,000 Pompey fans on the road. Brilliant. Yeah, the fans are brilliant again, and yeah, can't wait to go again on Tuesday. Thanks, Tom. Can we get Pompey in it? Pompey in it. Cheers, Tom. Can we get Pompey in it? Pompey in it. Pompey in it. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Thanks a lot. And create a pumpy in it. Pumpy in it. Pumpy in it, mush. Create a pumpy in it. We can. Pumpy in it. Cheers, Alfie. Thank you. Uh, can we get a pumpy in it? Up the veil. <laughs> Up the veil. <laughs> Full time 1 0 win. Colby Bishop, thanks for that. Three points today, mate. Just buzzing. I mean, brilliant win on the road, wasn't it? What a day. I thought Pompey played really well. Um, obviously, their goalkeeper made a lot more saves than Will. Uh, I think it was a deserved win. Really yeah. chuffed, and you two boys have just interviewed Robbie Williams. Interviewed Robbie Williams. How happy are you, Elf? Well, it's like I've, I've done some big people, but that that just tops them all. Yeah, he comes right. close to someone. He's just what a feeling. Colby's winner. Uh, the ref got chased across the pitch. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, that was really <laughs> funny. Not, not, not what we want to see. Uh, but Robbie Williams for you two. Um, mm. So if you want to see Alfie's interview with Robbie, AB Seven Channel. We'll see you Tuesday. Oxford away. See you Tuesday at Oxford. Oxford.